that in place and uh, pick up some more supplies from the shop. Oh, welcome back everybody to Foreman Similar 19 here on Midwest Horizon. Today folks, as you can see by the thumbnail probably, we have more weeds. Look at these things. They, ooh, weeds, they're, they're beautiful, some of them are, but yet at the same time can ruin your crop. Look, look at these pink ones right here. Those are pretty. And we got some uh, red ones over here. Oh, oh, knocked that one over. <laughs> but yeah, I done sprayed pretty much all the fields, but this one with uh, the spot spraying. And spot spraying, uh, some of y'all know, let me put my hood back up here. Uh, you just basically do this. There's a spot of weeds right here. You turn it on, turn it off. Turn it on and turn it off. And we'll check the map. Of course, it's probably going to auto save. What I tell you, auto save. Okay, as you can see, there's no pink right here where I'm at, but there's some pink right in here and some in our grass field and that. But look at this field here. This field, I'd probably just spray all of it. Which in seasons, you can, like, say you already got your ground worked up and you're fixing a plant. Oh, phone hush. You can go ahead and spray your whole field and they won't pop up until after you harvest a field. Or at least that's what I was told. But as you can see, let me zoom out a little bit more. 8, 17, 18, 16, 13, 14, 19, and 73 actually is completely done unless more weeds pop up. And folks, I've been looking at the cotton price. Uh, where's that at? Uh, should be some more on here. Oh, yeah, look, look at the cotton price. $9,407. Um, we're going to grow more cotton. So what I'm going to do, since I kind of got the money, 12 don't need nothing. i can turn everything on here. 12 is solid good. It's been uh, cultivated. So all we got to do is go in there, spray it, and plant it. Now, 9, on the other hand, it needs lime. We don't have to plow, out, but it needs lime and, uh, of course, herbicide. They don't need to be plowed. And, of course, some of our grass fields are going to need to be lime. So I'm thinking about getting a lime machine out, and I'm also thinking about go ahead and buy 12 and 9. 12 is, get, we can see the price here. Uh, 21.94 acres, which is 175,000. That's not bad. I'm on five. This is going to be cotton. And number nine, number nine, good old number nine. There's a actually a small community named number nine around where I live. It's a 133 for 16.7. So I'm going to buy that. That means I gotta get really busy. Now, 10, 10 is going for 235. Um, did I look and see what 10 needed? Um, 10 don't need nothing. But I'm not gonna get 10 right now. We're just gonna do these two because I got a lot to do, as you can see. And we're gonna rearrange some grass fields when it comes fall. Uh, let's check, see if we got any, hmm, we'll get some fertilized contracts, we'll be doing all right. Our sheeps are doing pretty good, I got, their water shouldn't be going down, I'm going to have to go check on that. But other than that, folks, we just bought two more fields, and I got to go finish spot spring. Uh, where was that at? I got to turn my map. Uh, isn't that back off? Okay, so middle, middle of the field and go down. 
But her, uh, what was this anyway? Oh, don't hop out when the tractor's moving. This is wheat. Our wheat is looking good. That's sad I have to get out and look at it closer. <laughs> and that's me, all right. Now, this is kind of, oh, there they are. Ooh, they're big. Let me see them far away. See them out there in front? Bye-bye. Ah. Uh, did I get both? Well, I can't tell because I'm in the way. It looked like they're right in front of me. Oh, right there. Yeah, I'm being uh, El Chifo on the pesticide. Or, I mean, herbicide. They should add pesticide to it, too. But then, uh, oh, uh, YouTube might get me in. I've been hearing some stories about YouTube here lately, but I ain't had no problem because I'm not getting no revenue from it either, so. Okay. Whew. Screen froze there for a second. I'm like, what? I passed it. How did I pass it? Guess it's going too fast. I call myself looking. Uh, what? It's right in front of me now. All right, folks. I'm going to. Huh. I'm doing it this way since I can't see it. I see a spot over here. I don't know if that was left from us not planting it or something happened to the ground. Y'all see that right there? Hmm. Oh, well. All right, I see if I... Yeah. Oh, all right, I'm looking. At, I didn't see it nowhere, so I'm just going to skip that for now. Because I got a big field to spray. And this will pretty much get me back to the shop. We got to get another thing, a fertilizer. And we got pesticides in, in the barn over by the sheep so let me finish getting these couple here i got two spots right here yeah, oh those are big ones look at there Ta -da, they're dead now wish they do that in real life die that fast it can take about a day or two for certain chemicals depending on what you use well our crops are starting to look pretty good so Go in here again and see we got one down by the driveway. And then we're gonna go to field nine and spray it solid since it's so far away. But first I'm gonna fill up. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up all the way. So let me get this done. I'll meet you over on field nine. Alright. Well, come find out. I'm gonna have to do this myself. One go big large thing of water in the field and hard worker won't work this says uh, con task completed so I'm gonna be a little bit this is uh, the field nine folks it had potatoes in it but it wildered away so I guess that's why it was still on the ground okay nothing coming and that post go out in the road like this but it just helps. It just helps a lot. And like I said, there's so many. You can see right there, there's one, two, some here. There's this weeds all over this field. It pretty much just took it over. All right, right there's what field nine looks like. It's not too bad, but I'm just going to spray the whole thing and, you know, just forget about it. And next, we got to plow it up. But I want to spread some lime down first before we do that. So I'm going to do lime on the grass fields first. And I really wish I could have got a worker working on this. That way I could go get the lime or somebody was spraying it. But I will 
Uh, I'm not going to do a fast forward thing, time lapse or anything like that. I'm just going to do a bunch of skipping and stuff, show y'all a little bit of this, show you when I get done, I guess, and, and stuff like that. Now I've done a uh, through downhill on this end, just to kind of help me get turned around. But I will catch y'all back when I start putting lime down, okay? Because y'all probably seen enough spraying anyway. Uh, but yeah, leave it down in the comments what y'all want to see more of. Uh, more spraying, more plowing. More. I know I'm ready for harvest myself. I'm ready to start making some of that money. We're down to $323,989 or three hundred twenty-three thousand nine hundred and eighty-nine to be exact. And uh, I might have to buy one or two more things out of that and then I'm not going to buy no more. But I'm going to plant this field and the other field in cotton. Strictly cotton. So I'll leave y'all with that and be back in a second. Alright, I had to pop back in, folks. Ran out of herbicide. Done pretty pretty good. Uh, take a look right here. i me zoom in and see how far I got on one tank. So that's pretty good. That was pretty good. So, uh, yeah, just want to pop in, show y'all uh, how much that took. All right, be right back. All right, folks, I'm back. They're supposed to have a load of uh, lime up there waiting on me at field nine. It looks like it's going to be kind of muddy. Muddy, muddy, muddy. But yeah, we're going to throw some lime on that field and I think the grass fields. That water tile must be stopped up. Yeah, there's a truck up there. I already got the auger out. All right. I like that. Right, I'm going to turn my beacons off. And I better slow down. Ooh, 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 that's kind of rough. Bumpy, bumpy, bump, bump. All right, start filling me up. Whoa, he, he's right on the money. He's looking to fill me up. Folks, I am down to $255,275. <sighs> I'll show you right here in a minute. All right, don't mean to dust y'all. Just don't mean to dust y'all. But now this white gold. Right up here, I want to show y'all something. It's it's our tractor, but we went to the market and and got something to help take care of these potatoes. We're gonna rip them out of the ground real good. Actually, it's just a subsoil. 400 horsepower old to run it. Like, well, our tractor's got 400. Hope neighbors don't mind going in their field. I already got my GPS and stuff set up anyway, so I'll park right here for a second. Run over here and take a look at this thing. Tor Terrace, not Terrace, Taurus, or how you pronounce that, GTS, it's, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten shank ripper, and this thing does not fold up, and, uh, folks, uh, this house and shed is available for uh, to buy and one thing I don't like about it is it's got a row up door here it's kind of like a, a secret room in a way you got one big row up door there to come in here or you got that and then you get it upstairs I think this was going to be a bathroom or something I don't know what this was 
But it's like they just didn't complete it. I squeezed myself up in this. Hallway's kind of narrow. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I got fit. Okay, I can't fit. I can't fit. But anyway, let me close that back. A quiet little door. And he said, go ahead and look at it and stuff and see what you think. I'm like, okay, but I ain't got the money right now. Maybe after harvest. Ha, huh, maybe. But yeah, th this is uh, going to be our new uh, subsolar. All right, we got to get the GPS calibrated, and I'll be right back when I get all that done, all right? All right, filling up with the second load. You're going to top me off good this time. All right. Let me get back at it. And just letting you know, I did increase the capacity to... 20,000 instead of 10,000 because as you can see I made a through and one brown and I was out so this should give me about two two or three rounds hopefully holy cow there's a ditch there or a hill oh I gotta watch where I'm going gotta watch where I'm going I could tear up some man I need to uh, through across here and we have, I'm almost done now. I hope this water table thing right here is uh, not going to hurt the crops when I plant it. I need to go check field. I think 19 has one in it. Hmm. I had to put that on the list to remember. But anyway, I'll, I'll, I just want to come in and let you know I increase in capacity and I'll bring you back when I get done with this field. All right, we're well, on our last through. And that field right there, what is it, number 12, doesn't need no lime. So, uh, next strip is on the other side of that. Goes up, then it goes to the grass fields, and then we'll be done with this. All right. Up, uh, stop. Thank you. Wasting my lime. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, look, what I should have done was got a load of uh, lime, a half a load of lime and half a load of fertilizer. That way I could have went ahead and fertilized this field while I was here with this machine. But that's the way it goes sometimes. You just forget. I'm going to go ahead and hop in the truck see how much we got left. Okay, so the front one's empty. Let's switch to the back. Um, I got a close cover and then switch. Okay, it's adding a little bit more to it. Just wondering if I opened the cover and made it to stop. No, okay. Alright, well this is uh all we need from here, so okay, how are you start engine maybe? Do it? Oh, I gotta go pipe in. Oh, it's gonna do it automatically. Okay. Good. All right, folks. I'm gonna get busy. I get these three vehicles back to the shop somehow. I'm gonna help get Mr. Yankee or, or Colin or, or somebody to come and uh, drive them back for me. But I'm going to go spray some more white stuff and uh, 
No, kids, it's not drugs. So I'm just going to cut across this field. So I got these big old floater tires on here for. But anyway, I'll be back in a minute or a second. All right, folks, I am back. We got to do some mowing up here real quick. Get to put this stuff in the hay, the grass dryer, hay dryer, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, that way everything be time to mow, you know, will be pretty much same time. Trying to get my words out. And I just messed up it now. Turn that off. We don't need to create a track right now. We just need to turn. Turn, baby, turn. Oh. Getting too close to the pole. I feel bad. I should be doing better than this. I know that ain't very much realistic, but come on, folks. It, it's nice. I love it. Just, just pretend the wings ain't going through the fence. <laughs> but I want to get this mowed anyway so we can clean it up. Get these bushes gone. I wish the mower would take care of the bushes. That would be a neat thing. Like there's actually like those bushes there on the side. You can mow them with like a special brush hog or something. A bigger mower, and they would actually grow back in time. That would be neat. But this is what I'm going to be working on, folks, and. Uh, I know this video's kind of been all over the place, but it's really not that much to do. That's why I went ahead and got <clears throat> those other two fields. So I can get some cotton. That way y'all see some combine action. Y'all see some cotton picker action. And you'll see all the, uh, all in the middle action. Yeah. Mr. Blue doing all kinds of stuff. As you can see, <clears throat> probably can tell my throat's... I don't know what's wrong with my throat. Ever since they sprayed this cotton field, it's been this way. I guess I'm going to go back that way, get this little spot, and then go around. Get that big spot here where I can turn around. No, I don't cut too short. I'm not going to be able to make it. Nope, nope, not going to be able to make it. Always in the tightest spots where you hit bound up here. There we go. Now we gotta get this place operational and uh, get some money coming in and stuff. But we won't see no money from the grain silo. It'll just be our haymaker selling uh, dried hay. But I guess a special hopper for it, probably. Uh, like a big dump trailer. That would slide out the back. This thing ain't pulling this uh, loader wagon that well. That baler, I was flying pretty much, but this thing... Of course, it's getting... It's going to be a lot of weight back there. We already got 19,000 liters of grass in there. And just about the right width. Make a through down here and then I'll go up and down probably. Alright, I got the front side done, so I'm doing this back. Now, folks, I think I'm going to leave it here because I'm going to finish doing this and then we'll probably use the. I got to fertilize that field before I plow it, so uh, probably be plowing in the next episode. Might be some woodwork also. We got to get some logs and stuff, get our money back up, and plus the lumber mills calling for some more logs 
So, uh, yeah, I told him I had to mow this and do a little field work, and then we get on it. So, I guess that's going to be it for this episode because I'm already almost at 30 minutes. So, yeah. Um, let me get back to the other end here. And we'll dump some of this in to the, uh, the hay thing there, and then we'll call it episode. All right. We have 60,532 liters of grass, folks. That's going to help out a lot. And we'll see how much we got in the company there. All right, I'm going to let that unload. We'll go look. Yep, it kicked on. And I got 59,000 uh, hay, dried grass. I got 92,317 in there. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's go down here. Jump over this. And go right here. Yeah, this is what it's wanting. Here, ah, right here. Oh, we got a lot to go. This thing, I forgot. Oh, a million liters. Okay, well, we have 59,000 liters of hay, so sheep's gonna be happy. But, well, folks, this is gonna conclude this episode. I'm gonna get this thing back. Just look out across there. We got it all mowed and everything, except for around the fence area. Well, I got something smaller to do that. So, anyway, I appreciate y'all coming out. I love each and every one of y'all. Thank you for your comments, your likes, and your subscription. The, hitting that bell. All that good stuff y'all do. I, I just love it, folks. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are super amazing. And awesome. Awesome sauce. That's what y'all are. But anyway, I gotta go. I'm so sorry. I gotta go. I gotta go. Gotta get this back to the farm. I gotta get this spur and stuff, more fertilized, and get it ready for the next episode. So, I will see y'all later. Y'all have a great day. A blessed day.